Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the template files that you can use when you first open up Rhino and also how to change units inside of your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so when you first open up Rhino, you're gonna get a screen that looks something like this. And basically what this screen is gonna allow you to do is it's going to allow you to set the template file that you can use inside of the new model that you're creating. So notice how there's options in here for large objects, centimeters, feet, feet, inches. Um, and basically notice how the little window on the right hand side is going to show you exactly what that template file is going to um, have from a unit standpoint. So if you work in meters, for example, notice how you have an option over here for meters, uh, millimeters, and centimeters. So for example, if I select feet, feet inches, what that's gonna do is that's going to open up a Rhino file right here. And notice how if you look in the lower left-hand corner, um, my units that are showing up are showing up in feet and inches, right? So like one foot nine inches, one foot five inches, uh, whatever, right? So those are basically in here as your units right here. You can see how it tells you what your units are as well. So you can select different template files whenever you're creating a new project. So for example, if I created a new project right here, if I go to file new, what that's going to do is that's going to take me to my template files folder. And this template files folder is going to have all of those template files that you can select when you first open up Rhino. So let's say I wanted a new model um, and I wanted that to be in centimeter. I could just select the centimeters template right here in order to load that. Notice how there is also an option here for use this file when Rhino starts. So if you do use something all the time, you can just select it and then check that box to set that as your startup. And so now let's say that we wanted to change the units of an already existing file. Well, you can do that by going up to file properties and within properties, notice how there's a bunch of different options in here. Well, the one we wanna pay attention to is we wanna pay attention to our units, right? So our units right here is going to allow us to set what our model units currently are. And so notice how you can use this drop down to select all sorts of different units, right? So you've got millimeters, centimeters, and meters. You've got inches and feet and miles, all those different things. So you can use this for a lot of different sizes of objects. Um, for example, there's an option here for parsecs. Now I have never met anyone that models in parsecs, but if you are, <laughs> leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about that. Um, but let's say we wanted to change this from centimeters to meters right here. So I'm gonna select the option for meters right here. And in this case, we're gonna click on the OK button. We'll notice how when we do that, that's gonna ask us if we want to scale our model, right? So when we change our units, right, this is currently modeled um, at 50 by 50. And it's asking if we wanna scale that down when we change our model unit size. If we don't do that, so if I click on no right here, and then now our unit is in meters. So notice how if we add a dimension in here, this object now has a size of 5,000 centimeters instead of the 50 centimeters that we set before. Notice how we're in architectural centimeters right here. So because we didn't select the option to scale our object, it kept the same size even though the model size changed. So as a general rule, if you wanna keep everything to the same size, right? So let's say I was to back, go back to centimeters. And let's say we were to redraw our 50 by 50 right here. So if we were to go into file properties and we were to change our units to meters, in this case, we would wanna say, yes, we wanna scale our model by 0 0.01 right here. So now our object is set at that 50 by 50 centimeters. And you can see how, because this grid is one meter by one meter, you can see how this scaled this properly. So now if we were to measure this, we maintained our scale properly. And so this is showing up way too big in here, but you can see that that distance is 50 centimeters and that our model is now scaled by meters. So one other thing to note about this is let's say that you work with feet and inches or something like that. So we're gonna set this to feet. There's an option down below where you can set this to display if your units are in decimal, if they're in fractional, or if they're in feet and inches like this. Um, so you can set the way those dimensions are going to look down below based on what you want them to look like. Notice how you can also set the precision in here with this drop down. You can set these to be as precise as 128th of an inch. Um, usually for most of the modeling I'm doing, um, the most detailed we're gonna get is probably to a 32nd, usually more to the 16th, and even then probably less than that. But you can use this to adjust how your units look 
inside of Rhino. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.